Hey everybody, glad to have you back. Um, today is going to be a short video. I'm just going to uh, get this small yard ready to sow tomorrow. I'm going to resow it, grass seed, fertilizer, lime, all that good stuff. I'm going to get all that ready for tomorrow. This area has a little dip in it. Um, it's not exactly smooth. You can't probably tell in the video, but there's a little uh, low-lying area right along in here. So I'm going to try to take the box blade and smooth that over and uh, just try to clean this uh, area up um, and get it ready to sew tomorrow. So uh, hang out with me and watch me do a little work. like squirrels are about to build a nest under here. Some leaves all in a pile. Yeah, sorry fellas. Another day. definitely see I need a quick hitch because this this is tedious Too bad. It wasn't terrible. Bush hog's a different story. It's a lot harder to do without a quick hitch.
And the hydraulic top link wouldn't be bad either. I do some work, tear some stuff up. It's a little muddy, but I'll give it a shot, see how it works.
I just uh, busted up the front yard a little bit. I just wanted to loosen the, gra the ground up because it was so uh, packed in. So now I need to go over it with a garden rake and uh, smooth it over a little bit. So tomorrow I'm gonna get the grass seed out and fertilizer and all that good stuff. Um, this yard is, at least the front yard is, is terrible for growing grass. I have the hardest time getting grass to grow here. I did a soil test on it last week and found out that, uh, well, according to the soil test, that the um, it was really low on iron and really low on nitrogen, really low on phosphorus. So it really had no nutrients in it whatsoever. And you could kind of look at it and tell that there was no nutrients in there in the ground. So, um, you know, out by the road, it's perfect. It grows just fine. But up here, it is just terrible. So uh, I got some uh, fertilizer that's heavy in nitrogen, heavy in phosphorus. And uh, the potassium was, wasn't was bad, but uh, nitrogen and phosphorus, it, it's low on. So I'm gonna hopefully bring that up with the fertilizer and the, um, the uh, ironite um, to adjust the pH balance because the pH was, um, let's see, what was it? Was it acidic? I believe it was acidic. Iron brings, us, brings the acid down, is that right? So anyway, whatever, whatever it is, um, it needs iron. So I'm gonna be putting some ironite on it tomorrow and then uh, fill it with a uh, tall 31 fescue and throw some straw on it and hope for the best. Um, and then I guess in the, I guess in the uh, spring, I'll maybe throw some rye seed in there too, see if that helps. Cause that's supposed to be like a, a temporary uh, long like helper, I guess. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put that down. This backyard, this little small area here um, is pretty good. I mean, you can kind of tell it's, it's pretty good topsoil. So, uh, you know, I did the soil test on it as well and everything was good here. I mean, uh, could use a little bit of fertilizer, nitrogen, phosphorus also, but uh, the iron was good. The pH balance was really good in it. So uh, hopefully I won't have too much problem growing grass back here. I do need to smooth it over, pull some of these roots up. You can see some stuff like that. The people before me here had an irrigation system and they had really no system. I mean, the lines were just scattered everywhere. So uh, every time I dig something new, I find a new irrigation line that I have to pull up and, and uh, throw away. But uh, so that about do it for today. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to say about growing grass. So uh, maybe tomorrow I'll take you along when I plant some seed. And, you can sit and watch grass grow with me. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.